Hello everyone, hey RG back with some more franchise Hockey Manager 8. Today, in the wonderful world of what the heck the Ottawa Senators might be doing to get better and get to the playoffs next year, I present to you the 2022 off season. Alright, so <clears throat> I made one free agent offer that's on the screen right now. I think Nino Niedrider could help the team for a few years. I uh, need help in the top six. I also have a trade in the works. Hopefully that goes through. My assistant GM thinks it will. Um, yeah, and then we're going to do the draft. And then we're maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So... Um, Lots of players are not coming back, right? Guys like Anton Forsberg. Now keep in mind I traded Zach Sanford for Tyson Jost. Uh, and then I was offered Morgan Frost for Nikita Zaitsev. And then, you know, in Philadelphia they were like, Oh crap, what did we do? Oh, let's cancel that. So that didn't go through. I have another trade in the way. Hopefully that goes through. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, ah, let's get going. All right. Yes, I have my assistant taking care of finances. I am inept with money. As in, I don't have enough. Oh, dear God. It looks like it's taking forever every day in July now. Is what it is. <clears throat> oh, look at that. We are moving forward. There's a bunch of news. All right, let's see here. All right, so looks like we have the the bid on Need Redder for now. I'm offering him what five point seven million a year, I think, something like that. I think it's for two years. So I I'm giving him a little bit more money, but I don't want to kill myself on the term. Uh, I do want to bring up Jake Sanderson. It's crazy to me that. Jake Sanderson is not more than a three-star potential. Oh, Brady Kachuk dumped his agent over a lack of a new deal. He doesn't need a new deal. He has like a seven-year contract. Uh, Elisa wants to trade Anzi Kapitor. Ooh, something you wouldn't see much in real life. Montreal and Toronto made a trade. Travis Dermott goes to Montreal. For Paul Byron, oh boy. <clears throat> not a, not a Matt's use for like Caulfield trade, right? Not exactly where we're at. Oh, the Coyotes traded Phil Kessel to the Sabres. Right, so Eric Johnson and the rights to Tyson Kozak go to the Coyotes for Phil Kessel in a sixth round draft pick. So Buffalo here loading up on some offensive talent. That's interesting. Blake Piatella goes to Pittsburgh. So Blake Piatella uh, goes from Anaheim to Pittsburgh for Mike Matheson. Wow. I think Mike Matheson is better than that, but okay. Then there's been a trade between the Sabres and the Blue Jackets. Will Butcher in a fourth round draft pick go to the Blue Jackets for Eric Robinson in a seventh. <clears throat> so it looks like Buffalo is loading up up front. 
There's been a trade between New Jersey and Philadelphia. The rights to Ethan Sampson were traded for Andreas Janssen. Or Johnson. He, from what I hear, he, he wants to have it pronounced uh, like Americans. Oh, Alright, Andreas, Andreas Johnson goes to Philadelphia. Ethan Sampson's rights are traded to New Jersey. Then there's been a trade between Washington and Buffalo. Michael Garbosa goes to Buffalo for Nikita Novikov. Or the rights to Nov Nikita Novikov. Not a, gr not a big trade either, but another forward acquired by Buffalo. Trade proposal from the Colorado Avalanche. They are offering me Jacob McDonald for Nikita Zaitsev. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Another one of those wonderful days when, you know, you wake up and it's 22 outside and then it gets into the 50s in the middle of the day. So my throat is like... <clears throat> oh, dear God. You have been offered a job of managing Team Canada at this year's Winter Olympics. Wow, that didn't take long. Sure, of course I'll do it. I am going to be the manager for Team Canada. So I can get Cody CC on the team. Alright, so Nino Nidritter is rumored to be signing soon, huh? Hopefully it's gonna be with me. I might not have offered enough, that's okay. <clears throat> Dear God, it takes forever to sim in current day. Head coach report on new players. Uh, let's see the lotteries in a couple days. I don't know who I'm gonna draft yet. Who knows? I know nothing! I'm a historical guy. I know the guys of the past. I know nothing about the future. Oh, my trade offer with the Devils went through. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of excited about that, actually. All right, so I traded Colin White and Tyler Boucher to the Devils for Doug Hamilton. So Doug Hamilton is 29. I know he might start to decline soon, but I'm getting much needed help on the Doug Hamilton. Should be good at least for a few plus years. Should be a nice pairing with Thomas Shabbat. And with the acquisition of Tyson Joes, Colin White became kind of expendable. And then I'm trading a prospect that has a, <clears throat> in the game a lot of... Uh, a lot of potential, but I I don't know that he's going to reach it. I know that in real life, I don't expect him to become a five-star type of player, but who knows. All right, so I'm completing the trade. Welcome home, Dougie Hamilton. You're going to be helping the Sens on D. Andre Palat is supposed to be signing soon somewhere, and our trade went through. There you go. Pretty happy with that. I've always liked Doug Hamilton. Now, I don't necessarily like his 9 million cap hit, but I'll learn to deal. <clears throat> right, no news today, so now it's going to be the draft lottery. So I... I I think I said it was kind of not worth
a king right or something on the forums. Hopefully that's not the case. Especially if I am to win the lottery. Alright. Well, so far, no surprise. Well, we got the same thing. And so Anaheim should be picking first. Columbus, Seattle, Montreal. Columbus again. Detroit, Buffalo, Arizona, and then we have what the ninth pick. That's that's not too shabby. Nine is a decent spot to be in. Could do worse. Like look at that piece of shit in the middle cards there. Alright, so as it stands, we're supposed to be drafting ninth. I don't know that it's going to be happening that way because I heard that sometimes it's not working right. So we'll see. Jake Sanderson signs, which is good news. Alright, the rookie draft. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get some superstars or future flops, depending... Oh. All right. Well, let's see who goes first. So the first pick in the 2022 draft is going to be Logan Cooley goes out first, picked by the Anaheim Ducks. Second is Shane Wright. So Shane Wright goes to Columbus after everything is said and done. All right. The Kraken pick up Joachim Kemmel. Third. Montreal picks Matthew Savoie. Fourth. In the fifth spot, we have Seamus Casey going to Columbus as well. So they got... They got a potentially franchise center and a decent prospect on D in the first round. That's a good way to start building a team. Brad Lambert goes six. He goes with the Red Wings. Seventh is Buffalo. Uh, we picked Philip Mechar. I might not be pronouncing that right. Eight is Danilo Yurov, picked by the Arizona Coyotes. Oh man, who do I want to pick here? I think I'm gonna go with, you know, real life. I think I'm going to go with Slav uh, Slavkowski. All right. I'm going to pick until you, man, from me. Uh, let's finish doing the first round. All right, Isaac Howard goes to the Wild. Uh, Denton Matichak goes to the Oilers. Antonin Vero goes to Nashville. Keaton Dawanyuk goes to the Canucks. David Yurishek goes to the Devils. Tyler Brennan goes to Philadelphia. Owen Pickering with the Rangers. Quinn Finley goes with Arizona. Trist Tristan Luneau goes to Winnipeg. Roger McGrorty goes to San Jose. And then Sorbonne goes to the Kings. Matthew Semenov with the Islanders. Hey, Aki Pizarrios. Yeah, maybe. Well, he's still on the board. Who knows? Maybe they get him later. Paul Davy goes to Pittsburgh. Connor Geeky goes to Buffalo. 
Simon Nemec goes to Toronto. Oh, Toronto drafting a, a defenseman in the first round. Wow. Frank Nazar going to Boston. Mats Lindgren going to the Washington Capitals. Uh, that's not the Mats Lindgren of the 90s that played with uh, the Islanders. <laughs> Uh, Charles-Édouard uh, Charles Gravel goes to the Blues. Arseny Karamislav goes to the Sabres. Hunter Eith goes to Calgary. Aidan Castle to Tampa Bay. Max Nemesnikov to Dallas. And the uh, last pick, of course, Eric Alagi goes to Arizona Coyotes. All right, round two. I'm gonna pick Yonsei Yuman. There you go. Now, who do, who do I want to get? I guess I could try to get Mirosh Nishchenko. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle. Mirosh Nishchenko. I suppose it's not very popular to be drafting a Russian at the moment, but uh, this is a video game. I'm wondering why nobody's taking Prokopenko. I guess he's overrated. I don't think he has necessarily a five star. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Mirosh Nichenko. God, I might need to trade him just so that I don't have to say his name when he scores when I read the summary on the games. All right, let's pick on Sil Yuman again. Dang, that guy is still there. Then Josh Lawrence. Uh, we don't know much right here, as usual. Oof, yeah, he didn't quite... Yeah. Yeah, that guy has flop written all over him. How about you? Okay. Cade Nilsson. Interesting stats for his first year of college. Okay. I'm gonna take a flyer on this guy. I'm gonna try Kane Nielsen and then we'll see what happens. Pick console human. Oh dear god, that five star guy is still there, like taunting me. Um A goaltender. I'm gonna try this guy, Pavel Kohonen. There you go. That's gonna be my goaltender pick of this draft. Ugh. All right. Hmm. 
had a big jump in points. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try him. Wait, where did he go? Yeah, I'm gonna try Thomas Amara. I want to try to get a defenseman. All right, so I've drafted at pretty much every position, so I can just go with whoever I feel like. Fokopenko, do I take a? I mean, as a. Are we still in the third round? Yeah, I guess we are. As a third round draft pick, a five star potential guy, that's probably not gonna <laughs> reach it. He doesn't have a lot of games played. It's hard to tell what he's gonna do. Eh, as a third round pick, why not? I'll I'll risk it. All right, fourth round. Otto Salin. Yeah, I like it. He looks like he can become a kind of a two-way defenseman. We all know I love those. Come on board, buddy. There you go. Yeah, Lawrence really didn't do good enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I need to get this guy. I mean, he's 20 already. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not gonna go for this guy. Um, Cena Peters. Okay, as a 19 year old, he didn't do a point per game. Uh, think so well I mean it's it's the fourth fifth round maybe yeah sure let's try Cena Peters I like that he has a German nationality he can be friends with Tim Stutzel all right Brady Burns, he's an assistant for it, wherever it is that he was playing. He's an overager. He did get over a point per game as an overager. There you go. You never have enough Bradys on your team. I have Brady Kachuk, and now I'm going to have Brady Burns. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, as a seventh round draft pick, you know what? I'll take a shot on Josh Lawrence. I'm sure my scout is drunk with that potential and everything, but you know what? It's a seventh round draft pick. You never know. Oh, I like fins. I like Swedes too. Okay, so you had what? What, what did you do? I'm going to try Ludwig Person. There you go. 
All right. Well, our draft is over. The best drafts go to the Ducks, Golden Knights, and Blackhawks, and the worst go to the Coyotes, Devils, and Sabres. At least I'm not seen as doing the worst. <clears throat> So Shane Wright did not go first. He's not the consens consensus in real life to go first anymore. Like they were all unanimous and now they're still mostly anonymous, but there's a couple people that are like, yeah, I'm not so sure anymore. So yeah. All right. The draft is over. That's funny that I traded Colin White to the Devils because there was another Colin White that played for the Devils. He was a defenseman. So both Colin Whites in the history of the NHL will have played for the Devils in my universe. Okay, mm. contract sign, but is it with me? Yeah, all right, we have Nino Nidrider. He's going to fit in my top six. All right. So we're already starting to look at uh, this upcoming draft. Of course, that's going to be the probably the guy that everybody's going to want. Connor Bedard. All right. So I signed my free agent and I made my trade. All right. So I, I, I believe believe that I have improved my team. Now that remains to be seen in practice if that really happened that way. I'm not liking the amount of time it takes to sim one day in current day. That's crazy. And my computer is... Yeah, that's a really good computer that I have. That's not to brag or anything. But yeah. I'm gonna pet. I'm petting my computer right now. Come on, you can do this. There you go. Good computer. All right, Brady Ketchuk got a new agent. I'm not sure what was wrong or anything like that. He has a contract for six more years. Matthew Pekka is about to sign. Well, all right. Good for him, I guess. I am not planning on making any moves. Now, I do have Nikita Zaitsev still on the trading block, so if somebody wants to offer me something for Nikita Zaitsev, that would be an, an upgrade. I am all ears, but yeah. Too bad that Philadelphia canceled the trade with Morgan Frost. I would have made that, uh, that trade in a heartbeat. Oh, the Rangers are shopping Igor Shesterkin. Wow. I could use Shesterkin. I probably cannot afford to trade for him, so in terms of assets and everything. They probably would have to take Matt Murray away from me, and they probably don't want Matt Murray. The only thing that wants Matt Murray in real life is the injured reserve. I am pushing a little bit too much. He, he was playing pretty decent for the Suns. But he got hurt again. Probably was, you know, putting butter on a toast or something. Man. 
man, that's crazy to me. I'm a historical player, it's like, you know, usually it's almost instant. Click, click, click. Right, let's advance. Click, 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 click. So it looks like we're going to start the regular season in Florida on the road. Usually the Canadian teams want those games like in like December and January so that they have the nice weather. Right, not a whole lot going on in the world of Aki right now. So the big names that did move, we have uh, Patrick Kane, that's now in Detroit. Phil Kessel is in Buffalo. Dougie Hamilton is in Ottawa. Will Vegas move Shea Theodore? That's the second time that Theodore lands on the trading block there. I had looked at it the first time briefly, but I decided against it. Could show some sense players from time to time. That'd be nice. Look at that. Two Montreal players. My own game is taunting me. Goaltender Tyler Brennan sings to sign sign the deal with Philadelphia. Oh, that was probably their first round draft pick, huh? Then Shane Wright reached a deal with Columbus. Gibson trade may happen. <clears throat> so John Gibson is on the block in Anaheim. Well, it looks like Kevin Rooney signed in Detroit. He was a free agent. 
Oh, there's been a trade between Washington and Detroit. The rights to Pascal Zito go to Washington for Bobby Nardella. Yeah, I don't know that it's a, a huge trade. Oh, Alex Formanton! Finally, we have a player there. His facial hair is wrong. Alex Formanton is sadly going the route of Austin Matthews and growing a porn stash. Not my favorite look, but what do I know? Maybe I'm too old. We're slowly getting close to August 1st. Matt Murray! I'm seeing some of my players, finally. James Van Riemsdyk, Alexi Lafrenia, Josh Anderson. That would make a decent line. Oh, there was a trade between Nashville and Detroit. The rights to Ethan Phillips go to Nashville for Mikael Granlun. So Granlun is going to be in Detroit now. Mikey Anderson, Henry Yokiyar, who came in Rooney again. Oh, so lots of goaltenders on the market, huh? Now uh, Elvis Merzlikens is on the trading block. Colin Blackwell, Zach Bogosian, and Cam York. All right, Bob Janice is giving me the scouting. There we go. Top setting Ottawa Senators jerseys for July. Nino Niedritter, wow, the new, the new acquisition is the top setting jersey, so it was good for the fans of Mor the morale of the fans, I guess. Then Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, Dougie Hamilton, and Philip Gustafson. So Brady Kachuk still not selling many jerseys. Austin Matthews sold the most in the entire NHL. Hall of Fame induction. Keith Kachuk, he was my pick. Pierre Turgeon, I also voted for him. Curtis Joseph, I didn't vote for him. Oh, Jeremy Roenick, no, I wouldn't have voted for him. Marcheseau, Robinson, and Capobianco. So two of my four vote. Oh no, I only voted for three players. Two of my three players made it into the Hall of Fame. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, there was a trade between Dallas and Pittsburgh. Radic Faxa goes to Pittsburgh for Teddy Bluger. So Faxa is now a Pittsburgh Penguin. Teddy Bluger is now a data star. Okay. That's interesting, but I I don't know much about those guys. I'm not really gonna look at that. Coach reports on new players. Alright, 
right, so I think that my team is gonna be better this year. Uh, if we can get the goaltending, I think we have a shot at the playoffs, which realistically that's what the Sens are looking at in real life for the next season as well. No Quinton Byfield. All right, we're still at the start of August. Oh, so Joey Decord is now uh, on the trading block. Former Ottawa prospect, of course. Brandon Montour, Marco Rossi, and Mikael Granlund, who's now in Detroit. Was just traded a little bit ago. Ooh, we have a trade proposal from the Stars. They want to trade us Gerard Rosberg for Nikita Zaitsev. Yeah, I don't think so. He played in the ECHL last year. I'm going to keep Nikita Zaitsev. Thank you very much. Man, I'm going to get something for Nikita Zaitsev eventually. Folks, we're getting there. August 12th and coming. Man, it's. Whew. That's something else. Ooh, now Pittsburgh wants Nikita Zaitsev. They're offering me Josh Maniscalco. I'm gonna say no. Brent Burns is on the block yet again. He was on the block last year as well. So that shouldn't be a shock to anybody. Very few news too. That's what makes it even more excruciating is that there's not a whole lot going on. It just takes a while to sim every day. There was a trade between the Capitals and the Canucks. Carl Aglan goes to the Canucks for Owen Van Steensel or the rights to Owen Van Steensel. Okay. Well, Carl Aglan in real life got a sick in the eye in practice and his vision might be compromised that re that kind of recalls what happened to Brian Berard who accidentally lost his eye playing against the Suns and it was a shot from Marian Osa and on the follow through the stick got in Brian Berard's eye and he lost his eye. He tried to come back with a glass eye and everything, but it didn't work very good for him. Played a couple of seasons, but obviously, you know. Oh, there was a trade between the Islanders and the Golden Knights. Cole Smith for Riley Smith. Let's trade Smiths. So Cole Smith goes to Vegas, and Riley Smith is now going to be with the Islanders. 
Jews. Decent enough trade, I suppose. Christian Devo. Right, Nikita Gusev, Tyler Sagan. Right, and Menton's trying to trade Mike Smith. And then Minnesota and Colorado made a trade. Ooh, Matt Dumba goes to Colorado with a fourth round draft pick for David Tays and a seventh. I think that's a pretty interesting trade. I like this, I like trades where Things look interesting. So a change of scenery for Dumba. Devon Taze moves to Minnesota. Okay. I like it. Oh, Calgary and Seattle made a trade now. Milan Lucic goes to Seattle with a 7th for Vince Dunn and the rights to Timofey Korolyov. Yeah, I think that Calgary had the upper hand in that one for sure. Wow. So Vince Dunn in Calgary now. So we've seen some interesting trades. Sorry if I'm not saying anything, there's not a whole lot going on. Oh, Mickey. Michael Del Zotto is now in Dallas. Ooh, Tyson Berry is on the block from Edmonton. Oh, Colin White that I just traded to New Jersey. We're about to enter September. Counting continues. As we know, I'm not too big on that at the moment. And then trade between Seattle and Chicago. Brandon Tanev goes to the Blackouts for London for, to, for the rights to London Slagger.
Alright, the page flips to September here, whenever that comes up. Oh, there's been a Oh, there's been another trade between the Leafs and the Abs. Wow. Top setting at our jerseys for August. Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, Doug Hamilton, Nino Niedreder, and Philip Gustafsson. Right, Nick Olden uh, losing some acceleration. Austin Watson losing some speed. All right. All right, Ryder Karshak. Signed his entry level deal with the Rangers. Alexei Lipanov also signed his entry level deal with the Stars. Same for Asaya Saville in Vegas. All right. <laughs> So Toronto traded Paul Byron back to Montreal for a fifth round draft pick. So basically Toronto traded Dra Travis Dermott to Montreal for a fifth round draft pick is what that boils down to. Again, Toronto and Seattle made a trade. Nick Ritchie goes to the Kraken for a third. So Montreal fans lost Paul Byron for a month during the summer and then got him back. So yeah, to me that's a little bit weird. Atsi Ranta has been put on the block in Carolina. Yeah, we're we're rumored to want to go after all the goaltenders. It's like, yeah, you're starting goaltender. He's gonna be in the infirmary most of the season. We might want to go and get this guy. We are slowly approaching preseason. Slowly getting there. And I'm gonna need to recall everybody and then send everybody back down. Seventeen days until preseason, folks. We're almost there. Trade proposal from the Carolina Hurricanes. Alexi, I must sell me for Nikita Zaitsev. You know what? 
Let's make this deal. Finally, I do not have Nikita Zaitsev anymore. And I knew that Zaitsev would want to go to Carolina and not use his trade, no trade movement, because he's going to the Cup Champions. All right, so I get a prospect. He may never develop, but at this point, I just wanted Nikita Zaitsev off the books. And he's off the books. I did it, folks. Sense fans that are watching this, I got rid of Chris Tierney. I got rid of Nikita Zaitsev. It is possible. I got rid of Michael Del Zotto. It is also possible. I needed to shed a little bit more salary because of uh, the Doug Hamilton contract I took. Philip Grubauer has been put on the block by the Kraken. Getting there slowly. Oh, they sure like to show Kevin Rooney's card. Twelve days, preseason starts. Oh, Tristan Jari extended with Pittsburgh. Ooh, that's a six years deal. That's pretty good. That, that's a lot of turn for Jari. We're getting there for nine days, and then we're gonna get some action. Woo! I mean, the action's already done. I signed a player, I made a trade, I did the draft, so there, that, that was action, right? Not, not you know, games played. All right, so Bari Boulet might uh, go somewhere. He's been put on the block. And then there's been a trade between Carolina and Washington. Dominic Buck go to the Capitals for a second round draft pick. Less than a week. Hockey season is coming. That, that It's like, you know, it's making the weight real. I know that when it reaches that time in real life, I'm really, like, really excited for the hockey season to start. Everything is fresh and new. The new players have that new, you know, fresh scent on them. And... Every team is just as bad as equally as every other. Right. I'm about to recall my players so that we have training, not training camp. So we have, yeah, training camp. Yeah, I'm gonna 
once one more day that I'm gonna recall those players. So I'm gonna put some stock into the preseason for sure to determine who's making the team and who's not. Now obviously, you know, if a guy like, I don't know, Brady Kachuk doesn't have a great camp, I'm not gonna bury him in the minors or anything like that, but I think that there's spots and there's gonna be players fighting for those. Oh, Anthony Stolarz has been put on the block. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Oh man, that's a lot of players. Probably should go through by contract. Ugh, all right. Well, let's do this. Yeah. Please give me a select all button. That's all I ask for Christmas. I don't want any other gifts. Sorry, I'm being quiet. All I'm doing is recalling players. Sorry about that. So we are all good now. And we start preseason in Calgary against the Flames. Of course, we're going to take a look at the Flames. See what they look like after making a couple of trades. They did acquire Vince Dunn, among others. All right, let's take a look at the Flames. Right. Oh, they they have a lot of players on tryout and everything. Oh, they have Ryan Murray. Wow. Yeah, with all of those tryouts, it's making it a little confusing. So we're gonna skip that part. Let's play in Calgary. All right. Oh yeah, Shabbat with Hamilton, Brandstrom with Zub, and Olden with Imosami. Go, sons, go. Who do we have in net for this one? We're going to go with Matt Murray. Flames are going to go with Dan Vladar. And of course, go, sons, go. Priest is on the way. And we won the first game 6-1. We are heading for glory. We outshot Calgary 38 to 17. Artem Zub was the first star of the game. He had four assists. Nick Paul was the second star with three assists. And Drake Batterson was the third star with two goals and an assist. 
We scored three times in the first period. Mason Shaw scored on the power play from Drake Batterson and Doug Yandleton. Then Mason Shaw again from Artem Zub and Nick Paul. Then Drake Batterson from Thomas Shabbat and Brady Kachuk. 3-0 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, Josh Norris scored from Brady Kachuk and Artem Zub. It was 4 nothing. In the third period, Drake Batterson scored from Nick Paul and Artem Zou, made it 5-0. Then Calgary scored, and then later Eric Brandstrom from Nick Paul and Artem Zou, and that was a 6-1 victory here in Calgary. Now we're taking a flight and heading right back east as we play tomorrow against Buffalo in Buffalo. Oh, Alex for Formington is day to day. So our night for Artem Zub, as we say, he had four assists. Oh, Eric Fai has been hurt. He has a ruptured bicep tendon. He's out indefinitely. Usually that's over six months. All right, sorry, cap reminder. All right, we're going to play second preseason game here in Buffalo. Now, we're not going with our best lineup here. So, we might lose. Philip Gustafsson is going to be in net for us. Uh, Yuko Pekka Lukonen is going to be in net for Buffalo. And, of course, go Suns! We won 4-3 with a less than optimal lineup. We were outshot 31 to 30 in that one. You know, Nidreder, the, the new acquisition with a goal and an assist was the first star. Victor Olofsson was the second star with two assists. Thomas Shabbat was the third star with a goal and an assist. Buffalo scored first in the first, then Jake Sanderson scored short-handed from Nino Nidreder and Artem Zub. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Sim Stutzo scored unassisted it was 2-1 Sens in the third period Thomas Shabbat scored unassisted as well it was 3-1 then Buffalo tied the game at 3 and then with 2 minutes and 7 seconds left Nino Nudritter sh scored short-handed from Calfoot and Thomas Shabbat and that was a 4-3 victory for the Sens Injuries here, including Dougie Hamilton, but it's only a day to day injury. But still, Matthew Barzal is out two weeks with an injury with the Islanders. He has an hamstring strain. All right, we have a day off, and we're gonna play against Seattle. Still preseason, folks. We have seven of those games. All right, Seattle is in town. So let's play this game. Chris Dreger is going to be in net for Seattle. Matt Murray in net for us. And of course, go Suns! Another victory, 4-3 in overtime. That's funny because that's what happened yesterday in real life. Those, well, Matt Murray was not the goaltender for us. But we faced Chris Dreger and we won 4-3 in overtime against Seattle. Uh, we outshot Seattle 25 to 23 in that one. Brady Kachuk was the first out of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Uh, Mascherin was the second star with a goal. And Drake Batterson was the third star with two assists. 13,384 people in the stands for this preseason game. Seattle scored first. Then Nick Paul scored from Thomas Shabbat and Connor Brown. And then Seattle scored again. It was 2 1 Seattle after one. Then in the second period, Seattle added another goal. It was 3-1. Then Brady Kachuk scored from Nick Paul and Josh Norris. It was 3-2 Seattle after two. In the third period, Philippe Daou scored. That's how you would pronounce that in French, by the way. That's a French name. And uh, I don't know how Americans or English speakers would try to pronounce that last name. But it's pronounced Daou. 
the ST at the end is silent, believe it or not. All right, uh, so Philippe Daou from Brady Kachuk and Drake Batterson. We were tied at three, that went to overtime, where Thomas Shabbat played the hero from Drake Batterson and Nino Nidreder. 4-3 Ottawa, the victory. We are undefeated in preseason, and as we know, that absolutely means guaranteed success in the regular season. For sure. That's exactly how it works. Yep. All right, Jason Robertson keeps fans on their feet all night in Dallas. He had three goals and an assist against Washington. Uh, Ryan Strom got hurt for the Rangers with a hyperextended knee. He's going to miss three weeks. Alex Formanton feeling better. That's good. And speaking of the Rangers, we are at Madison Square Garden to play against the Rangers. Let's play this game. Philip Gustafsson in net for the Sens. Alexander Georgiev in net for the Rangers. Go Sens! Another win! 3-2 in overtime. Yes. We outshot the Rangers 42-36. Eric Brandstrom was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Alexander Georgiev was the second star with 40 saves despite the loss. Ryan Lindgren was the third star with an assist. All right, no scoring in the first, then in the second, Os Os Oscar Steen scored for the Suns from Connor Brown and Eric Brandstrom. Then the Rangers tied game. It was 1 1 after 2. Then in the third pair, the Rangers scored, then Mason Shaw scored on the power play from Drake Batterson and Angus Cruikshank. Tied at 2 here after 3. That went to overtime. Nobody scored, and then in the shootout. Panarin missed, Batterson scored, Zibanejad missed, Niedretter scored, game over, 3-2 shootout win here in New York. Oh yeah, we are still undefeated. I'm gonna feel great about it if I want to, alright? There. All right, memorable night for Dylan Larkin. He had three goals and an assist against the Ducks. A night to remember for Sam Reinhardt. He had a hat-trick against Boston. Memorable night for David Pasternak in that same game. He also had a hat-trick. September scouting. Alex Formanton ready to return. Oh, there was a trade between Chicago and Pittsburgh. Tony D'Angelo is going to Pittsburgh for a second-round draft pick. And then a trade between the Flyers and the Lightning. Oscar Lindblom goes to the Lightning for a third round draft pick. We have a day off, then we're going to be hosting the Bruins. Alright, the top setting jerseys for the Sens, Thomas Shabbat, Matt Murray, Doug Hamilton, Nino Niedritter, and Philip Gustafsson. Doug Hamilton should be back soon. Top setting jerseys for September. Tristan Jari is first in the NHL. Thomas Greisch is on the block in Detroit. The Blues and the Bruins made a trade, and we're just about to play the Bruins too. Justin Falk and a 5th round draft pick go to Boston for Pavel Zaka and a 6th round draft pick. Interesting. Alright, playing against Boston, so at home, we're hosting the Bruins, who just traded for Justin Falk. I don't know if he's going to play for them or not. Lin Linus Olmark is going to be in net for Boston. Matt Murray in net for the Sens. Go Sens! Oh, that's our first loss of preseason, and it's not pretty. We lost 6-1. We were odd shot 43 to 22 in this game. David Pasternak was the first star of the game. He had two goals and three assists. Taylor Hall was the second star with two goals. And yes, Jason, J Justin Falk played. He was the third star with two assists. 
13,071 people in attendance for this game. Boston scored three goals in the first period, three goals in the second in the first, three goals in the second. They were up 6-0 going into the third period where we had a very timid response from Adam Goddard, from Nino Nightrider, and Jacob Bernard Docker. That was the end of the game. A 6-1 loss. It happens. Memorable night for Max Domi uh, with Columbus. He had a hat trick against Nashville. Doug Hamilton is almost back, and Alex Formenton is back. And now we're playing in Toronto against the Leafs. So we have two preseason games left this one and then against Anaheim, and then the regular season starts shortly after that. Get going here in Toronto. Philip Gustafson in net for the Suns. Jack Campbell in net for Toronto. And of course, go Suns. Oh, we lost that game 3 2, so we're 4 and 2 in preseason now. We were outshot by Toronto 44 to 41. John Tavares was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Ridley Gregg was the third, second star, sorry, with a goal. Jack Campbell was the third star with 39 saves. All right, so Toronto scored twice in the first period, and then we tied the game. Ridley Gregg scored from Sim Stuzel and Drake Batterson, and then Igor Sokolov from Michael Kesselring and Mason Shaw tied at two after one. That lasted until the third period, and Toronto scored, and they won 3-2. That's pretty much that. Not a whole lot more to say about that. Oh, the training camp. That I want to take a look at. All right. So, yeah, that five-star guy turns out to be a three-star guy. But I got him in, what, the fourth or fifth round or something. So, you know, I'm not too worried about it. All right, Batterson got better. Bernard Ducker as well. Oh, you Roby Arventi. I like that. Yeah, I like that this guy also is getting better. Oh, he lost a little bit of potential, too. Oh, Timmy Stutzel is really starting to get better. I like it. Not a finance guy. What do you what do you want me to tell you? I pay guys to do the finance stuff. Alright, Dougie Hamilton completely recovered. That's good. 
SP row feeling better. And then we have another injury, Sokolov. All right, Anaheim is our last preseason game before the 2022-2023 regular season starts. All right. Anthony Stolar is going to be in net for Anaheim. We're going to have Matt Murray and, of course, Go Sens. A 4-1 win, so we finished preseason with a 5-2 record. That's not too bad. We outshot Anaheim 40-28. Shane Pinto was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Drake Batterson was the second star with two goals. And Clark Bishop was the third star with a goal and an assist. 13,367 people in attendance for this game. Drake Batterson opened up the scoring in the first from Tim Stutzel and Dougie Hamilton. Then Shane Pinto scored from Clark Bishop and Cole Reinhardt. It was 2-0 Sens after one. And in the second period, Anaheim scored, then Clark Bishop scored from Shane Pinto and Cole Reinhardt, and then Drake Batterson from Tim Stutzel and Jake Sanderson. It was a 4-1 lead here after two, and that was the final score. We had a fight in the third period between Austin Watson and Brad Malone, but that was pretty much it. All right, so a pretty successful preseason, all told. Colorado's Burakowski is injured. He's going to be out for three weeks. So Andre Burakowski out with a sprained thumb three weeks. And Aspiro for us is almost completely recovered. So we have a bunch of day-to-day -day injuries. Nothing to be too worried about. Regular season starts in a week. So we should be good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. We're going to go ahead and stop here for today. So next time out, I'm going to go ahead and decide on my lineup prior to the stream. And then we're going to go ahead and play October. See if we can get on a good start and solidify a spot for the playoffs there. So that's it for today, folks. As usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. And if you've liked the video on YouTube, if you're watching that at a later, at a later time, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. All of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.